Time to play with some clay. Well, I did some research. I mean, I went through my reference materials on uh, a shoot that I had on a little bighorn back in 2006 to get a feel for the uh, shape of a uh, authentic uh, bow and quiver. And it's actually a lot thinner than what I've got. And the arrows aren't outside the the uh, pouch as much as I've got and so I can cut down on that quite a bit so I'm going to take this off again <laughs> I hate doing it but I'm going to have to and uh, reduce some of that because uh, if you notice uh, let's see I got another pitch okay here we go yeah uh, it, the uh, quiver for the bow is a lot thinner and uh, then I've got it. So I'm just going to uh, redo some of that. Boy, I hate taking that. Keep moving things and after a while they start falling apart. But I got to do it. Okay, the bow quiver uh, with the arrows in it uh, has beading on the both ends and I just did the beading by laying out the clay flat and laying out thin strips of clay and then uh, giving it some texture to show that there are beads the best I can. Set that there. And I just wrapped it around uh, the bow quiver and uh, I'm going to fill in all this space in between. I just couldn't show you me doing it because it's me working on uh, this little tiny thing here and I just didn't want to have to set up the camera for it. So I got some people coming over so I got to turn off the camera again. It sounds like they're coming up the driveway. All right, I was working last night on this clay and uh, I had... <coughs> had uh, a gentleman come by and uh, it pretty much wiped my evening out so I'm back on it this afternoon and I'm going to try to get this uh, bow quiver to a point of being a bow quiver again. I gotta get me a piece of foam to set this on so it doesn't get damaged. So I'll be right, right back. The foam packing that you get in the uh, in a shipping crate is always a good thing to keep around because you never know when you're gonna need it. Uh, to work on something and keep it from being damaged uh, detail work on the uh, object you're working on now let's see get the right sculpting tool I gotta shape this uh, a bit It'll be narrower at the top and wider at the bottom. Okay. 
Now there's a uh, roll of trade cloth right along the top edge of the uh, quiver that uh, would look nice once I get it on there. And it just sews the two halves of the uh, leather that surrounds the uh, arrows together. What I'm trying not to damage is the uh, beadwork that I put on to the upper part and the lower part of this uh, arrow sheath and uh, now this is the part that's going to be facing the body so it's not going to have all that much detail seen but I still want to get it uh, evened out and I'm not as worried about the beadwork on this side because it's going to be hidden mostly anyway okay looks pretty good now I'm going to put this aside for a second wait 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 no I'm going to put this on the upper part Okay, now I need to put some beadwork, or not beadwork, but straps, or this, this stuff that's sewing, let's see, the uh, trade cloth onto the quiver. All right, you need a strap to hang the bow quiver over your shoulder. And that's what this is going to be, is that strap. I'm going to take the robe out of his hand, bring his hand and arm out a little bit more. That robe is going to be okay there, but it's going to have to uh, react to the uh, movement of uh, his arm. I decided this last night that uh, the bow quiver is going to have to be on the outside of the robe, not inside. So now I need to take that arm without wrecking it. That robe's got to come up. body a little bit and it's got to be tucked under
Yeah, that's better. All right, that's going to be good right there. That's going to change the uh, shirt a little bit. Not quite as bunched up as the uh, blanket will be. And I'm going to put the blanket right there. And put the uh, strap like that so that it can be cast. And then I'll put his fingers wrapping around uh, the strap as well as the uh, bow quiver. And his thumb will be on the, uh, the quiver itself. And then I'll just have to re-sculpt that blanket a little bit, but I think that's going to work. That's going to be hard to cast, though. Not sure how they're going to do that. What I could do is bring that shirt out even more, further. The quiver and a bow look good, and uh, I think I'm going to like this uh, when it gets done. Um, now I would normally have fringe hanging off the uh, bow quiver, and I still might, but. Uh, Everything I do on this uh, right now is going to cost more, so I've got to think of what the total selling price is going to be and hopefully try to keep it within a certain range. I think uh, what I need to do is go and take it to the founder and get the, uh, kind of an idea what it's going to cost now and get some pointers from them. And uh, maybe I'll do that uh, after I go a little further on this. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Hopefully from every angle. Yeah, it looks dramatic too. It looks like he's just grabbed his stuff real quick. Like, I can fill in here. And now all this can be cast. All right. Good night. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional dvds uh the link down below this video all right see you next time